operations manager of 190 employees. Okay, great. How would you describe yourself? My personality, um, motivated, driven, um, happy, but uh, results need to happen. Results need to happen. Do you consider yourself assertive and sociable or timid and quiet? Assertive and sociable. Okay. Sometimes too much. Sometimes so. too much. Yes. What about, um, do you think you're organized and dependable or unorganized? Organized and dependable, but that's also one of my weaknesses as well. Okay. What about, do you consider yourself curious and open to new things? Or do you find more comfort in um, feminine, familiar aspects? Um, it, it, it cuts both ways. I like things that are familiar because it's consistent, consistent, consistent in this manufacturing. But at the same time, I like change because it's it challenges you and it, it uh, forces individuals to think outside of the box. To get out of your comfort zone. Out of your comfort zone. Do you believe leaders are born or do you think you can teach somebody the qualities to be a leader? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, it's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of both. Someone has to, leadership, you're going to teach people how to do things, when to do things, and why to do things. But at the same time, you have to be able to accept the responsibility of your actions and every individual underneath you and their actions. And what is your, your personal vision statement? Personal and also the company. My, to always evolve. I mean, once I get this done, how can I make it better? I mean, it's just constantly, okay, that's good enough for now. Let me circle around and, and make it better next time, and then make it better. What about for the company? The company, their mission statement, they want to have uh, continuous improvement. They want to have on-time delivery. They want to make happy customers. Mm -hmm. And you can never make the customer happy. You can just meet as many criteria as possible because they're going to want perfection perfection is unattainable, but close to it is very good. Can you describe a situation where you had to convince others to follow you? What strategies do you use? That was very difficult in the beginning for me because I was more of, if there's a wall in my, in my way, I'll run into the wall, go through the wall, under the wall, over the wall, whatever Which I need to do. To get over it. But a lot of the other people didn't have that mentality and they, they still don't have that. But the only way to have other people know how you lead and if they'll follow you is through experiences. The good experiences, the bad experiences. The good experiences, how they see how successful the whole team was. The bad experiences, how you pick the pieces up and how you make sure the team understands this is the learning process. we got to figure it out. Last question that I have. What leadership styles do you know and which one do you apply in your job and why? Oh, when I went to college there was like, I don't know how many styles. Yeah. My style is, I think you said it earlier, um, assertive and social. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, um, I'll structure, I'll give maps, or I'll give a partial map. And then I'll let the team determine how they're going to move forward and how they're going to do that. And I'll step back and let the team learn and build themselves so that way they can start moving up the ladder. Because if I have to do everything, then... Yeah, they you know, are limiting them also. Too. Limiting them, but then it determines, do I, do I need those people? Mm -hmm. See, that's, that's what else starts to play in the, the equation as well. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time. That's it? And for your I'm already done? Yes. Sweet. <laughs>